Hello there, and welcome back to The Road to E3 2019. This time we will be discussing what is the other game style in Super Mario Maker 2. For those of you who may not be aware, Super Mario Maker 2 had a blowout Nintendo Direct in the middle of May, and it was amazing. We got to see more of the Super Mario 3D World style, and seeing that game in two dimensions is really something special. I think it might even be more fun, definitely at least just as fun, if not more fun, as the original 3D World game. It's got all of the gimmicks like the beat blocks and the giant trampolines and throwing boxes and just doing all these other things, not to mention Cat Mario and a car for some reason. Well, actually, you know, there are cars in Super Mario 3D World, so the Koopa Troopa car, while not specifically in 3D World, actually does make sense from uh, an aesthetic standpoint. Anyway, that's a little off track. What we are talking about today, off the cuff, are the potential candidates for what this other game style is going to be. For those of you who have keen eyes, you will have noticed that there was an empty space next to the Super Mario 3D World game style on the UI in the Nintendo Direct, and the text above it said game styles, other game styles. Now, that means there's at least one more, and there's probably just one more, I'm guessing. But that means this game style will not translate to the Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, or New Super Mario Brothers U format. It has so many unique things that it's got to be like 3D World, and it just won't work if you try to change up the style and try to keep all these same assets. It'll just delete itself. Which means we're in for something special again. Super Mario 3D World added on in this game is already fantastic enough, but at E3 we are going to no doubt find out what the style is. I can't really imagine it'll be kept a secret until the game comes out. It might be, but that's kind of an underwhelming way to reveal things these days because when the uh, reviewers get it and the internet gets a hold of it, it will get spoiled for everybody before normal people even buy the game anyway. So I think they are going to reveal it for E3, and it's going to be super exciting. So, what do I think it's going to be? Well, a very obvious candidate, going back as early as we can for game styles that aren't already in use, there is Super Mario Bros. 2. Super Mario Bros. 2 would not work in other game styles, foreseeably, because of the main mechanic of digging things out of the ground, plucking them, rather, and throwing them at your enemies, or just throwing your enemies and other items in general. That is the whole gameplay shtick of Super Mario Bros. 2, which originally was Doki Doki Panic, and for us Westerners, it was Super Mario Bros. 2. Everybody in the East had the lost levels, but still, it is a game that is very much um, a cult classic. I don't even know if... It's probably... People love it enough for it to not be a cult classic, but in Mario standards, it's pretty much a cult classic. It made sense why it wasn't an option in the original Super Mario Maker, but now that they are kind of trying to test things out um, with these other more creative, more freeing game styles, I feel like Super Mario Bros. 2 is absolutely like a top three contender. Another top three contender is not Super Mario Land 1, because that game is very bare bones, but Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, could be a serious contender. It might completely be black and white, or they might throw color onto old assets. It's hard to say. This is actually one of the only Mario platformers I have never played, um, but it would be very interesting to explore and have fun with these assets um, that I recognize, um, but that uh, would be very new and fresh as well. The thing that holds it back is I don't understand what would be in this style that couldn't translate all that well. I mean, there's definitely some mechanics like, you know, I was about to say jumping uh, in low gravity, but that's actually a mechanic of, uh, of one of the moon augmented levels so really, other than like the uh, the rabbit power-up, I don't know what wouldn't translate. So Super Mario Land 2, to me, is less likely than Super Mario Bros. 2 for this other game style. Now they could go really crazy and transform more 3D games into two dimensions. Now why I don't think that's likely, because 3D World was still a linear game from uh, beginning to checkpoint to flagpole, as the 2D games are, the other 3D games are much more sandbox. We're talking Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Odyssey, 
All of those I feel like are indeed unlikely, but they could try to capitalize on the hype of Super Mario Odyssey, or, spoilers for Super Mario Odyssey post-game, they could try to continue to harken back on the nostalgia for Super Mario 64 and just throw in some polygonal aesthetics in there and maybe have the physics of Super Mario 64, but that is really ambitious. I don't really see that happening, but it's, it's possible. It technically could happen. The Super Mario Galaxy games could also happen, but as I said, the anti-gravity thing can already be done in the other game styles, and that is really the hallmark of Mario Galaxy gameplay. So again, I don't really think any of those are likely. Of all the 3D games that would be transformed into 2D, I guess it would be Odyssey, but I don't even think that's very likely. There are so many enemies, and really the Odyssey uh, style would not be worth really much of anything if there was no capturability either, and I don't really see them putting that much work into it to make all of these different possible captures work in 2D. I just don't really see any of these happening. So still, Super Mario Bros. 2 is the most likely contender. Um, I saw somebody say Paper Mario could be an example of another gameplay style. That would be the first time when an RPG series of Mario has directly crossed over with the platformers. Again, Mario and Luigi and Paper Mario crossed over, but again, it hasn't happened quite like this, so I think it's doubtful. But that being said, Super Paper Mario for the Wii that came out 12 years ago, that is a completely 2D game. Obviously, it wouldn't have the 3D flipping mechanic that Mario has in that game, so it actually could be done fairly easily with a video editor. It's just, I don't really think Nintendo is going to think that far outside of the box. Um, but other than Super Mario Bros. 2, which I think is the most likely, I think it's just going to be something entirely new. And the counterpoint against that is that if it is something entirely new in terms of the gameplay style, why wouldn't they just release a new 2D Mario game instead of re-releasing New Super Mario Bros. U on the Switch like they did a few months ago? So to me, that doesn't really make much sense either, but hey, it's possible that they could try to create something very new. They could try to maybe model something after the original Donkey Kong arcade game or the Game Boy version of that as well, but I just don't really think that's likely. Another possibility is Yoshi's Island, but again, you're controlling Yoshi and not the Mario Brothers. Mario is there as a baby, but otherwise, that's just too far removed. Yoshi is its own series. It's considered its own series. It just got a game a few months ago. So for me, Super Mario Brothers 2 seems like the obvious other gameplay style. But what do you guys think? What would you like to see? What do you expect to see as the new gameplay style in Mario Maker 2? And what would you want? Dream prediction. Anyway, tell me about all of those things in the comments below. It's about time to get really hyped for E3. We're very close now, and I have one more video to share with you on the road to E3 2019 Nintendo Edition. Thanks for watching.